Hello students, welcome to Akshara 8 Foundation. So today we are going to see the new topic. In the last topic we have completed. In the last class we have completed the fluid mechanics. Okay. So today uh, one more topic that is the simple harmonic motion. See in the kinematics uh, we have discussed uh, so many types of motions. So basically we have the translatory motion, okay, circular motion, rotatory motion we have completed. So now vibratory motion or oscillatory motion, periodic motion, okay. So periodic motion is nothing but these are all the different types of uh, motions of objects will be there in our daily life. So here uh, we will see first uh, periodic motion and uh, oscillatory motion because they are related to each other. Then afterwards uh, we are going to see here simple harmonic motion, okay. To understand the simple harmonic motion, first of all we need to understand about this uh, periodic motion and the uh, oscillatory motion or vibratory motion. Okay, what will we'll see here? What is a periodic motion? Okay, periodic motion. Periodic motion is nothing but motion of an object uh, repeats. Motion of an object repeats in regular interval of time. So is said to be the periodic motion. Okay. Suppose uh, we'll take here the examples of uh, periodic motion. The second sign, the minute sign, and hour sign in a uh, in a watch. Okay, in a wall clock or in a watch, they will be rotate. Okay, repeats its uh, motion. Okay, so in the watch there, so that is called in a regular interval of time, they will be repeat its motion there. That is called the uh, example of a periodic motion. And best example is the moon is revolving around the earth in a in regular interval of time there. Okay. So it will be complete uh, one one complete rotation about the earth. Uh, 30 days it will be take approximately. And the motion of all planets around the sun. Okay, they are also example for that periodic motion. That means what here? The motion which repeats, okay, the motion which is repeat in regular interval of time, periodically, in regular interval of time. So that type of motion is known as periodic motion there. Okay. And uh, we have there oscillatory motion or vibratory motion. Okay. So here we can add their uh, examples are motion of uh, hands, motion of hands in a watch, motion of hands in a watch. That means here, what are the hands there? Minute sign, second sign, and hour sign. And uh, motion of uh, planets, motion of uh, planets. around sun, around sun, okay. So even we can see here um, circulatory motion, we can add here uniform circular motion, uniform, uniform circular motion, uniform circular motion. So this is also example of periodic motion. In a regular interval of time, the motion of the object is repeats, okay, that is called the periodic motion. So now next type of uh, motion we will see here, vibratory motion or oscillatory motion, vibratory, vibratory motion or oscillatory motion or we can see here oscillatory motion, oscillatory motion, vibratory motion or oscillatory motion. So here vibratory motion or oscillatory motion means the motion of object uh, vibrate about a fixed point uh, to and fro, back and forth. Okay. The motion, uh, the motion of object uh, which has one complete to and fro motion or back and forth motion is called the oscillatory motion or vibratory motion. See here, uh, we can take the example of a uh, swing. In the power of the swings will be there. No, they will be oscillate to and fro about a fixed point. So that type of motion is said to be the vibratory motion or oscillatory motion, swing, swings in the park, in the parks. And we can say next example, simple pendulum, simple pendulum, okay, simple pendulum is a device which has a, a thread or a string, a pendulum, a metallic bob will be suspended by a rigid support through a string or a metallic wire. Uh, 
okay so that string will be inextensible irreducible string so that will be oscillate about the mean position there if you move it uh, one side if you apply the force on the simple pendulum then if it is dragged or if it is pulled to one side and leave it then it will be oscillate to and from motion there means forth and back back and forth motion is called the simple or vibratory or oscillatory motion there okay so here we can the simple pendulum simple pendulum simple pendulum will be the example of this oscillatory or vibratory motion there next uh, one is pendulum clock pendulum clock so we have the pendulum clocks are there no so wall clocks wall clocks they have the pendulum metallic uh, uh, sphere will be there that metallic sphere which is connected by a uh, metallic rod and it will be suspended uh, from the rigid support then it will be oscillate to and from motion it will be oscillate so that the uh, the second hand and minute hand they will be have the uh, repeated uh, come this periodic motions there so the motion of the oscillatory uh, motion of that uh, pendulum is known as pendulum clock it is also the vibratory motion because it has a to and fro motion uh, back and forth motion there okay even the table fan table fan also it has a vibratory motion okay it will be vibrate it will be rotate uh, the wings of the fan will be rotated and it will be the table fan will be rotated oscillate okay to and fro motion about a fixed point there okay so these are all the examples of this uh, vibratory motion there okay and this all the periodic motions all the periodic motions uh, may be a vibratory motion but all the vibratory motions cannot be periodic motion okay so that means here if you take the example of uh, this one okay so uh, we can write here uh, simple pendulum if you take there or uh, one more example also uh, it is there there the limbs of the tuning fork limbs of the tuning fork also they will be vibrate there about its mean position so here if you take the simple pendulum simple pendulum will be repeats its motion in um, regular interval of time there okay it repeats its uh, motion in regular interval of time so if the motion of the body whether it is a vibrating motion or any type of motion it repeats its motion in the regular interval interval of time then we can say there is a periodic motion so that is the reason why see here uh, this all the periodic motions okay so all the periodic motions uh, may be the vibratory motion but all the vibratory motion cannot be the here periodic motion there suppose if you take here uh, uh, swing okay or pendulum clock okay they can now uh, uh, repeat its motion but all, all the periodic motion this motion suppose if you if you see here uh, the motion of the hands in the watch there motion of the planets around the sun they lot vibratory motion there okay but so they will be the repeat they will be repeat their uh, motion okay but here in the oscillatory motion they may have the periodic motion the motion of the body can be repeat in the regular interval of time there okay that means we can say here uh, uh, all the vibratory motions here uh, all the periodic motions okay they have the vibratory motion but all the here all the vibratory motions uh, may be the periodic motion but all the periodic motion does not vibratory motions there okay that is a statement uh, from this we can say here so why we have discussed this one to understand uh, uh, the simple harmonic motion what is the simple harmonic motion what is the distant uh, difference between here vibratory motion and simple harmonic motion there okay see the in a simple harmonic motion simple harmonic motion is a special type of uh, vibratory motion special type of uh, oscillatory motion or vibratory motion there okay so what is a special in that uh, simple harmonic motion there the motion of the body will be uniform see like uh, the displacement of the uh, particle displacement of the particle is directly proportional to the acceleration or we can say the acceleration of the particle which is in the oscillatory motion or vibratory motion the acceleration of the particle is directly proportional to the displacement and it is uh, opposite to the displacement always it is to it will be points towards the mean position so in oscillatory motion or in uh, vibratory motion about the mean position the oscillations will be takes place there okay 
then now here uh, in the space in the special case of uh, vibratory motion or oscillatory motion the acceleration of the particle there any particle which is in the motion there it will be have the velocity displacement and acceleration the acceleration of the particle is directly proportional to the displacement of the body and it is in opposite direction to the displacement then we can say that is the simple harmonic motion simple harmonic motion so now we are going to see here the definition of simple harmonic motion okay definition of simple harmonic motion simple harmonic motion the oscillatory motion the oscillatory motion the oscillatory motion in which an object having an object having to and fro to and fro to and fro about uh, about its mean position about its mean position and the acceleration of and the acceleration of acceleration of acceleration of the body or the particle acceleration of the body or the particle is directly proportional to is directly proportional to directly proportional to its displacement its uh, displacement its displacement and opposite to it and always uh, points towards the mean position and always points towards the point towards mean position that means opposite to the direction of the displacement okay point towards the uh, mean position mean position is called mean position is called uh, is called simple harmonic motion is called simple harmonic simple harmonic motion simple harmonic motion see all the all the oscillatory motions uh, may not be the simple harmonic motion whenever this condition there so there it, sh it should be a to and fro motion then we can say that is the oscillatory motion or vibratory motion so if the particle the acceleration of the particle is directly proportional to the displacement and means acceleration of the particle it should be the directly proportional to the displacement and it is opposite in the direction that should be in the opposite direction of of the displacement there so minus here we'll get there a is equals to minus k into x will get there okay a is equals to minus k into x. this condition if it is obvious and there is a to and fro motion then we can say that the oscillatory motion is known as the simple harmonic motion there okay so this is the definition of the simple harmonic motion and uh, to understand the simple harmonic motion of an object there because in our daily life we have seen there are many examples there in all the cases in all those uh, cases the motion simple harmonic motion will be takes place so it is necessary to uh, to understand the motion of the object so that we can now uh, utilize them that motion properly okay so here uh, now we are going to see here to understand the simple harmonic motion we should know some of the basic definitions there okay now we are going to see the basic definitions so in that the first one is the simple harmonic motion uh, so the simple harmonic motion any type of motion so it will be in the form of waves okay the motion of the body will be more if you draw a graph between the uh, time and the motion of the object there so there uh, the displacement of the particle it will be there there so we have seen there in the kinematics a uh, graphical representation of body okay so if it is a graphical representation there uh, there may be a straight line or we will be get uh, different types of uh, equations there so now here we are going to see the uh, equation of uh, displacement equation of the simple harmonic motion okay so that uh, later we will be uh, going to discuss but uh, in that equation 
some of the points some of the important points are there to remember if you know the, them then we can understand the motion uh, simple harmonic motion properly there so in that first definition is amplitude some important definitions some important definitions So in that uh, first one is amplitude, amplitude, amplitude. So amplitude is nothing but the maximum displacement of the particle from the main position. Okay, the maximum displacement, the maximum displacement, the maximum displacement, uh, the maximum displacement. Uh, maximum displacement of the displacement of the body or a particle particle from the main position from main position from main position is known as amplitude from main position is called amplitude it is denoted by the letter uh, capital a so it will be denoted by the capital a or sometimes it may be denoted by small a also this amplitude will be measured in now uh, uh, sa it is measured in meters amplitude will be measured in because it is a maximum displacement displacement will measure in meters there okay then si unit of this amplitude is we can write here meters okay si unit of ampli uh, amplitude is meters the next one next one we need to understand here oscillation oscillation what is the oscillation there oscillation is nothing but one complete to and fro motion of an object one complete to or uh, forth and back motion one complete forth and back motion is called oscillation suppose let us take the example of this uh, simple pendulum there and it is pulled like this towards right side and left it then it will be have the oscillations like this towards right side and towards uh, left side there so these are these are the extreme positions extreme position 1 and extreme position 2 and this will be the mean position there e1 and e2 are the extreme position there so it will be keep on oscillate like this so it will be oscillate like this there means here if it is went there so it is a one oscill uh, it is a 2 and then next a uh, fro and 2 so that complete one complete 2 and fro motion is called the like suppose we can say here if you count from here there so this is a uh, we can write here back and forth to and fro one complete to and fro motion is called the one oscillation one oscillation okay one complete uh, one complete one complete uh, to and fro motion to and fro motion to and fro motion of an object or back uh, back and forth of motion of an object is also known as oscillation there okay so next one we need to understand here uh, time period third one is time period time period so time period is what there it is denoted by the letter uh, capital T time period is nothing but time taken by the particle to complete one oscillation so one oscillation we have seen there here oscillation is nothing but one complete to and from motion of a body is said to be the one oscillation and to complete that one oscillation how much time it can be taken okay that is called the time period the time taken the time taken by a particle by a particle to complete complete one oscillation one oscillation to complete one oscillation is known as is known as time period is known as time period it is denoted by time period is denoted by capital T okay so now this time period will be measured in seconds time period will be measured in seconds so therefore SI unit of SI unit of uh, time period T is SI unit of time period is seconds. 
seconds. Okay, so that is about the time period. And next one we need to know here the frequency. So frequency. So frequency is denoted by the letter F comma n also, or it can be denoted by nu also. The frequency can be denoted by F or n or nu. Okay. So frequency is nothing but number of oscillations. Number of uh, oscillations or vibrations. Number of oscillations made. Number of oscillations made by a number of oscillations made by a particle. Number of oscillations made by a particle about its uh, main position. About its uh, main position. About its main position is called. But in main position is called the is called frequency. It's called frequency. Okay, so it is denoted by the letter f or n, a small f or small n and nu. Okay, so the now it can be measured. It can be denoted by that now. Then SI unit of SI unit of uh, the frequency. SI unit of frequency is it is hertz 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 scientist hertz so this hertz is nothing but cycles per second number of r we can say oscillations oscillations per second r we can say cycles per second cycles per second is nothing but hertz okay so this is a frequency now we have the relation between a frequency and the time period okay the reciprocal of a time period is also known as frequency the reciprocal of the reciprocal of reciprocal of time period of an object reciprocal of time period of an object is also known as frequency so now from that uh, definition we will get the relation between frequency and the time period so then uh, f is equals to we can write here uh, 1 by t or we can write we can also write t is equals to 1 by f okay so this is the relation between the time period and the frequency time period and frequency okay so next one next one is phase so phase is nothing but uh, it is an angle okay angular displacement so it will be explains the displacement the displacement of the particle and the direction okay phase is nothing but it is an angle which uh, gives the displacement and the particle position of the displacement of the particle and the direction of the particle okay so phase angle is it is the it is the it is the position of position of a vibrating particle it is the position of vibrating particle vibrating particle and displace and direction and direction is called is called phase is called phase so it is a position of vibrating particle and the direction okay the phase angle is nothing but position of uh, direction of the particle or the direction of the particle and the displacement okay so whenever a particle is moving in uh, oscillatory motion or vibratory motion so there so at particular instant of time so what is the position of the particle what is the position of the vibrating particle and in which direction it is vibrating there okay so that will be explained uh, and understood by the phase or we can say phase angle so now the phase difference so next one is phase difference phase difference so phase difference is nothing but here it is the difference between the phase angle angular position okay the difference between the the difference between the the difference uh, between angular positions of the angular 
angular positions of angular positions of angular positions of vibrating particles vibrating particles vibrating particles angular positions of vibrating particles is known as phase difference is known as is known as phase difference is known as phase difference phase difference phase difference okay so the difference between the angular positions of the vibrating particles is known as a phase difference so we can write here the phase difference is denoted by so delta theta we can write here and this is a t2 minus t1 theta minus theta 2 minus theta 1 we can write there theta 2 minus theta 1 delta theta is nothing but difference between the two angular positions is known as the phase difference there okay okay so now so next one we are going to see here equations of for this uh, uh, simple harmonic motion what is the equation okay so this uh, motion of the object vibratory motion of the object or oscillatory motion of the object uh, whenever uh, the motion of the object is there so we need to understand that motion of the object by uh, writing the equation no mathematical expression there okay so now we are going to see the mathematical expression by using the uh, reference uh, circle okay now equations of equation of equation of uh, simple harmonic motion of a body simple harmonic motion of a body by the reference circle by the reference reference circle reference circle by using this reference circle we are going to get the displacement uh, uh, equation displacement equation of uh, uh, or we can say the equation of the simple harmonic motion the equation in terms of displacement okay so first we will get the displacement equation then we can uh, from that we are going to get remaining all the velocity equation and acceleration equation we are going to get there okay for that here i will take a, a circle reference circle in which a particle is moving a particle is having a periodic motion about a center about the center there okay suppose let us consider this particle is moving here a particle p is moving okay then now uh, if it is moving here so this is a radius it will be there here this will be the radius of the particle and uh, whenever this particle came here there okay then the tip of this okay tip of the position okay tip of the projection of this particle there so if you if you write a projection of this particle here so projection of the particle if you mention here so the projection of this particle p it will be here there okay then if the particle is keep on moving in the uh, this circular motion about this point then projection of this part suppose the particle has came here then the projection of that particle will be here and the particle has came here the projection of the particle will be here there and then the particle has come here then the projection of the particle will be here there okay whenever the particle is uh, making a circular motion okay about the fixed point okay if the body is moving in a circular path about a fixed point the projection of the particle the projection of the particle will be having the oscillatory motion about this uh, center about the center okay suppose the particle has come here then here the projection of this particle will be the projection of the particle will be here there and the particle has come here then it is here it is then if the body position of the particle is here on the circular path then projection of the body is here there so we can understand that so whenever it reaches here there so it will be the position here whenever it reaches the projection of the body is here there okay so like this in one complete oscillation in, uh, so in one complete uh, circular uh, rotation one complete oscillation in the circular path then so it will be complete uh, one uh, two and fro motion one two and fro motion the projection of the particle complete two and fro motion about the about the center so the center is now it is considered as the uh, mean position of the body and here the diameter the edges of the diameters are considered here the extreme position of the projection of the particle it 
which is moving in the circular path there okay so whenever a body is moving in a circular path the projection of the particle of the body will be having the oscillatory motion about the mean position so now the projection of the particle is having here the uh, mean position then so the displacement of the projection of the particle we will be consider the equation of the displacement of the particle there okay so displacement of the particle which is moving in the simple harmonic motion there okay now we will consider suppose this is the radius now so if you consider the radius is r then if the particle is here there then the radius can be taken like this okay so here it is making an angle here uh, theta theta angular displacement is theta there okay so now uh, if i consider here there if i consider the particle is here then if i draw a normal line onto this if i consider a normal line onto the radius then we'll get here right angle triangle from that right angle triangle we can write there so this is a y particle y means we are taking the projection of the particle having the circular uh, having the uh, particle is having the circular motion then the projection of the body having the simple harmonic means vibratory motion there okay it has a vibratory motion then the displacement of the projection of the body having the vibratory motion then the displacement of the projection of the particle which is in the circular motion then we'll take that is represented by the let y and so this is a vertical projection and he may even so we can write uh, uh, if the body is moving there okay even we can write here horizontal projection also this is a vertical projection of the particle in the same at the same time so this distance it is a uh, we can write here horizontal projection of the body so even the horizontal projection of the body also it is having the same, uh, vibratory motion about the mean position there okay so whenever the particle is moving in the circular motion the projection of vertical projection and the horizontal projection both they will be vibrate about its uh, about the center so the projection of the particle having the sim, uh, vibratory motion or oscillatory motion in the circular path whenever that body will be moving okay so now so how to find out here x and y there so we know that uh, from the right angle triangle we can find out here x is equals to so what can write here so we can write there sin theta so the, we consider this is a o and uh, this is the o center you consider there this point is a and here it is b there so from triangle so we write here uh, from from triangle from triangle uh, oab from triangle oab so we write here sin theta if you write sin theta what will get there opposite opposite will what there ab ab divided by hypotenuse will get there hypotenuse is what there here oa then ab is equals to ab is equals to what can you write there ab is equals to oa into sin theta oa into sin theta so here ab is nothing but what there that is a y so y is equals to oa is nothing but here r we can add there r sin theta r sin theta okay so now theta is here in terms of angular uh, frequency we can add here omega into t so if you change it then y is equals to here we can add there r into sin of omega t so this is a displacement equation this is a displacement equation okay so now if any other particle any other particle having the circular motion then so uh, oscillatory motion then this uh, this equation we can write here y1 so y1 is equals to r into your sin of o omega t plus pi or theta okay we can write here pi there pi pi is a phase phase angle we have discussed the phase angle no? at this instant of time the direction of the particle and the displacement position of the particle which is denoted by the here theta phase angle okay so if you consider two particles phase angle of two particles then difference of the phase angles will be there there so here we'll write here so y is equals to y1 is equals for the other particle y1 is equals to r into sin of omega t plus pi will get there okay 
so then this will be the equation of the this is the equation of uh, displacement of the oscillatory motion okay or we can say the particle and here we can consider uh, in this wave in this oscillatory motion the particle is uh, the uh, uh, acceleration of the particle is directly proportional to the displacement and it is in opposite direction to the displacement or it is towards it will be points towards the center okay so this is the vertical project this is the oscillatory simple harmonic motion of the vertical projection of the body there even we can write here horizontal even we can write here horizontal simple harmonic motion or uh, displacement equation of the projection of the particle in the circular uh, path okay so here the horizontal projection we can write here by using that so here in this equation we can write here cos theta from this triangle here oab in the triangle oab we will write here cos theta cos theta is nothing but adjacent adjacent is what there ob ob divided by oa we can write here then cos theta cos theta is equals to ob is nothing but what there x will write and here r will write so from that uh, cos theta is nothing but r into sorry x is equals to r into cos theta so this is a displacement equation of the simple uh, simple harmonic motion okay of a projection of the particle moving in a circular path is given by x is equals to r into cos theta will write there okay suppose if you consider any other particle another particle which is move, which is having in the uh, simple harmonic motion then that can be written as here sin of uh, theta plus uh, pi we can write here so the theta can be replaced in terms of angular uh, frequency or angular velocity then uh, x1 can be written as here r into cos of uh, omega d plus pi okay this is a equation of the particle displacement of the particle having the simple harmonic motion okay so then uh, so generally we will represent uh, the displacement of the particle by using this y is equals to r sin theta y is equals to r sin theta okay with that uh, we are going to discuss uh, in this chapter there so this is the displacement so now the general equation will take here so general equation uh, r into sin of omega t plus pi will take there there is a displacement general displacement equation of a uh, particle having the simple harmonic motion there okay now y is equals to here r is nothing but y is the displacement of the particle which is uh, in simple harmonic motion and uh, this r will be the amplitude we have discussed with the amplitude there the maximum displacement from the mean position what is the mean position is here in this uh, reference circle that is a center uh, uh, from the center what is the displacement there is nothing but the amplitude you know here displacement equation there in the displacement equation this uh, r will be represents the maximum displacement from the from the center from the main position there okay so that is nothing but the amplitude r will be the amplitude and omega will be the angular frequency or angular velocity will consider here theta will be uh, t will be the time so time of the particle and time of the particle here which is at the different instant of time okay so when the particle is in the uh, motion and pi will be the phase we can say phase angle phase is nothing but so it is a angle at a particular instant of time and uh, which will be uh, explains the position and direction of the particle there okay position and direction of the particle so now so this is the displacement equation we got so from this displacement equation now we are going to see so what is the wave equation here uh, graphic uh, graphical representation of uh, this equation Okay, it is a sine function. How this sine function can be represented in the graph? That we are going to see. Then next afterwards, we are going to see here uh, the equation of the velocity of the simple harmonic motion. Okay. So now, uh, y t graph. Okay, y t graph. suppose here now displacement equation we got there y is equals to we can write here r we have taken here r now r into sin r into sin of omega t plus uh, omega t plus pi we can write there so if i replace this uh, small r with capital a because amplitude is denoted by capital a you know then so the equation can be uh, represented by a into sin of omega t plus 
pi omega t plus pi we can write here omega t plus pi so now so we write here the equation displacement will be taken on the y axis and the time will be taken on the x axis on the reference axis okay sin function so from where it is started there sin uh, sin function will be it is it will be started from like this okay it will be started like this this is a sin function there so this will be the maximum amplitude here we can write there this is a a amplitude of the equation so this is up to here so we can extend up to here so this equation the displacement can be denoted by or it is represented by the equation of sine wave okay it will be start from it t is equal to 0 then it will be have certain uh, phase angle zero phase angle here okay the next particle suppose it is the it is t is equal to in some seconds so the particle will be goes here like this at different points the displacement of the particle will be it will be vary there okay so now the displacement uh, curve will be shown the sine curve okay so now next one we are going to see here the equation of velocity the equation of uh, velocity of the particle in shm equation of velocity of the particle velocity of the particle in velocity of the particle in simple harmonic motion in simple harmonic motion okay so velocity can be derived by using the equation here y is equals to a into sin of omega t plus pi omega t plus pi here from this equation we can derive it okay we can derive it so now for that we will be use the differentiation if you do differentiation with the both the uh, with respect to the time okay above equation so differentiate differentiate above equation differentiate above equation with respect to the time with respect to time so then here we'll get there d by dt of d by dt of y so is equals to We we'll write d by dt of d by dt of here a sine of omega t sine of omega t plus pi will get there sine of omega t plus pi. Okay, so d by by dt displacement no displacement by time is nothing but what will be get there displacement by time displacement by the time it is nothing but the velocity so means d by by dt it is represented with v so v is equals to here d by dt of d by dt of a into sin of omega t plus pi omega t plus pi here okay so now we'll use the equations so we should remember the differentiation formulas in differentiation so d by dx of sin x d by dx of sin x is nothing but cos x will get now Here v is equals to v is equals to d by dx of here a is a common it can be come out then we'll get here cos of uh, omega t plus uh, omega t plus pi will write here and again uh, this uh, angle it is a function of t again here so d by dt of this omega t will get here omega omega will get so here v is equals to what can write now here a into omega cos of uh, omega t plus pi cos of omega t plus pi okay so now in terms of this equation in terms of uh, sin theta how can we write sound sin theta so by the trigonometric identity we can write there so this can be written as here uh, a omega square root of so sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 then cos square theta is equals to we can write there square root of 1 minus sin square theta so here we can write there 1 minus uh, sin of so 1 minus sin square of uh, omega t plus pi okay 
So this is the equation we can write now. So we can convert this cos function into sin function in this way. So now from the first equation, what is the first equation here? From the displacement equation, from this equation sin of omega t plus pi is nothing but y by a we can write now, y by a. So okay. So since uh, here uh, sin of uh, omega t plus uh, pi, omega t plus pi, it can be written as here uh, y by a. If you write here in this equation, b is equal to, we will get here a into omega, a into omega 1 minus square root of 1 minus y square by a square, we can write here, y square by a square, we can write, okay. So now here we will write v is equal to a into omega uh, square root of a square minus y square divided by a square, a square means a will be come out from the root then this a and a will be cancelled. So that therefore the equation, velocity equation will get there omega into square root of a square minus y square will be the equation of the velocity, velocity of the simple harmonic motion of a particle there or we can write a, uh, v is equals to a v cos of omega t plus pi. These two are the equations. Okay. Here what is the y here? y is the maximum displacer, displacement of displacement of the particle in the simple harmonic motion. Okay, this is the equation. Okay. So now we are going to get the equation uh, and what is the graph for this equation there? So here uh, to draw the graph here, it is a cos function. So graph of the cos function can be written as like this there. It will be start from means for 90 degrees in sine function, sine will be 0, sine will be 0 when uh, theta will be 0 degrees, okay. It will be start from 0 there. But cos function, when the cos will be 0 there, when theta is equal to 90 degrees, means it will be start from here. From here it will be start. So like this, so the cos function will be there. So now this will be the, it is a, a maximum amplitude. Amplitude what can write here? A omega will be the amplitude for this equation. This will be the A omega and this is a minus A omega minus a omega okay so that is the equation and here on the x axis it is <coughs> taken as time and here the velocity will be taken on the y axis there velocity will be on y axis it is x axis there that is the graph of a velocity of a particle in simple harmonic motion okay so now next one we are going to see here the uh, equation of acceleration of a <coughs> simple harmonic simple harmonic uh, motion of a particle there, okay. So now the acceleration will see there, acceleration of, acceleration of particle in SHF, in SHF. So this can be derived by using the equation here. by using the equation. What is the velocity equation we got there? From the velocity, equation of uh, velocity of a simple harmonic uh, motion of a particle. From that equation we are going to get, so V is equals to A into omega cos of, cos of omega t plus uh, pi we got there, omega t plus pi, okay. So now if we differentiate, differentiate, differentiate above equation above equation with respect to time, with respect to time, okay. So if you differentiate there, so d by dt of uh, v will get there, d by dt of v, I mean that means for the rate of change of velocity and here uh, d by dt of, d by dt of here we can add there, e omega cos of uh, omega t plus uh, pi, omega t plus so, dv by dt is nothing but what can we write here? It is the acceleration, rate of change of velocity is the acceleration and here uh, a omega will be comes out here d by dt of cos omega. So, cos omega is nothing but what can we write there? Minus of sin omega t na, sin omega theta, sin omega x there. So, minus uh, sin of omega t plus uh, pi we can write again 
here this is the angle is the function of t then here uh, omega will be remain there omega d by dt again omega uh, omega t is nothing but omega will be remain there so now from this uh, we'll get here a is equals to minus this omega will be multiplied here a into omega square okay a into omega square here this can be written as here sin of uh, omega t plus uh, pi sin of omega t plus pi okay so again uh, what can write uh, from this equation so from the first equation uh, sin theta sin theta is nothing but what there this means sin of uh, omega t plus pi sin of omega t plus pi is nothing but y by a no if you write here y by a so what it will be happen a is equals to minus a omega square this sin omega is nothing but here sin of omega t plus pi it is nothing but y by a will be get here so a a will be cancel so now therefore here we'll get the acceleration of a, a particle uh, having the simple harmonic motion will get there minus uh, omega square y minus omega square y so this is the equation and uh, this is the actual uh, in terms of sine function this is the equation there okay and in terms of uh, uh, maximum so maximum uh, acceleration equation is minus omega square y so we have seen there the acceleration of a particle having the simple harmonic motion is directly proportional to the displacement and it is opposite to the direction of the displacement there see we have we have got this equation there a is directly proportional to omega square okay so then we can say the particle uh, means the projection of the particle which is uh, moving in a circular path uh, circular path that will be the simple harmonic motion okay so this is the expression of the acceleration of the particle there now what is the graph of this equation there so it is a sine function and negative sine function we got here so what is the acceleration equation we got a is equals to this is a important equation by using this equation we are going to write a uh, graph okay so what is that equation we got here y is equals to y is equals to minus uh, a omega square sin of uh, omega t plus omega t plus pi we got there it is a sin function and negative function there then to draw the curve here sin function so time will be taken on the x axis and uh, this one displacement will be taken on the sorry it is acceleration no? this is not a displacement it will be the acceleration a so acceleration will be taken on here on the y axis there on the y axis now here it is starts from negative so minus pi by 2 so minus 0 means the sine function it will be start from here there sine function will be start from here like this so now this will be the this is a minus a omega square and this will be the this is a amplitude here a omega square this is the maximum amplitude of the uh, acceleration of the particle having the simple harmonic motion this is the equation there okay so now next we are going to see here all the equations we got here now okay So next uh, energy of the particle having the simple harmonic motion. Okay, energy of the particle having the simple harmonic motion. We are going to see now. So in this last uh, synopsis, we have the energy of a uh, simple harmonic motion. Energy of the particle which is in simple harmonic motion. That we are going to see now. and we are going to discuss here now law of conservation of uh, a particle in the simple harmonic motion okay so law of conservation means there is a total mechanical potential energy and the kinetic energy will be present there so we know that energy so if a particle is uh, having the mass and moving with velocity v then the kinetic energy formula we know that no by using that and the potential energy formula so by using that formula we are going to write here and we are going to discuss the law of conservation of energy how that law of conservation of energy will be takes place generally the law of conservation of energy is nothing but uh, energy neither created nor be destroyed but it can be co converts it will it can be transferred from one form to other form no 
So how it can be means sometimes the potential energy, total potential energy will be present at the at that uh, instant and there is no kinetic energy. And uh, where the kinetic energy will be present there, there, there is no potential energy will be present there. Like that, so one type of energy will be converts into, transforms into other type of energy, but the total energy will be constant there. That we are going to see here. Okay. So energy of a particle in SHM. Energy, energy of a particle, energy of a particle in SHM. SHM. Simple harmonic motion. Okay. So here we will see their first kinetic energy. Kinetic energy of kinetic energy of a particle in SHM. SHM simple harmonic motion. Okay. General equation of kinetic energy is so kinetic energy K is kinetic energy K is equal to what can we write there? Half into M V square. M V square. So what is the V? Velocity we got there. Velocity equation in the uh, if the particle is moving the simple harmonic motion A omega cos of o, cos of omega t plus uh, pi we got omega t plus pi. Simply if you substitute there, we will get the equation. Okay. So, now the kinetic energy of the simple harmonic motion can be written as here half into m into here. V is nothing but what can we write there? A square omega square cos square omega t plus pi. This is the equation. Okay. Or, so we got um, maximum, uh, V maximum what we got there? So, omega v is equal to omega into square root of uh, a square minus y square, a square minus y square. If you write this also, that is the maximum kinetic energy. So, now here we can get their k maximum. So, expression of the kinetic energy or we can write here uh, kinetic energy of the particle. So, we are in terms of the, this is in terms of displacement and amplitude. So, we'll, this is in terms of this is the equation in terms of cos function. So, here we can write there half into m into. So, here uh, if you write there uh, v square, no, v square is nothing but omega square here a square uh, minus y square. Okay. This is the expression for the expression for the kinetic energy of the particle which is in simple harmonic motion. Simple harmonic motion. There is the equation there. So, now uh, we are going to write here. Suppose uh, the displacement of the particle. So kinetic energy. So kinetic energy. Kinetic energy at uh, at y is equal to zero. Y is equal to zero. That means what? There at mean position. Kinetic energy is zero. So this will be at mean position. At uh, mean position. At mean position. Kinetic energy at the mean position means y is equal to zero. If you substitute in the above equation, what is the what is the value will get there? What is the equation will get there? That is the maximum kinetic energy. K maximum will get there. K maximum that is equals to half into m into here will get there a square omega square into a square uh, a square omega square a square omega square will get now because y is zero there here. So, what is the equation? Half into m into omega square and if it is 0 there, a square only will be remain there. So, we will get here. So, m into a square omega square, a square omega square. So, that is the equation. Therefore, this is the equation of the, of the particle in the simple harmonic motion. Okay. So, now potential energy we will see there. Potential energy. Uh, so, then uh, what is the before going to this? Here we will see there before this. So, we have seen there the kinetic energy at the mean position. So, at the mean position velocity will be maximum there and uh, this is the kinetic energy will be maximum there. What about uh, at maximum at extreme position? So, kinetic energy kinetic energy at extreme position at extreme position kinetic energy at uh, extreme position. So, kinetic energy at extreme position, what can we write there? Kinetic energy Ke is equals to 
so here so half into m into half into m into so what can we write here that is a, a square omega square a square what is the v value we got there v is equals to omega into square root of a square minus y square now and here y is nothing but what there at the extreme position at the extreme position y is equal to a y is equals to a there okay so now in this equation if you write there y is equal to a what will happen there so here this uh, v will become zero no okay so velocity 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 at extreme position at uh, extreme position extreme position position zero because here y is equal to a so y is equal to a means here we can write there omega into square root of a square minus a square a square minus a square is nothing but zero then here v is equal to zero it will become there if it is a v is zero there means therefore the kinetic energy also kinetic energy at extreme position kinetic energy at extreme position at extreme position so it will be zero so the kinetic energy at the extreme position will be zero and the kinetic energy will be maximum at the mean position because the velocity will be maximum at the mean position there okay so that is about the kinetic energy now we are going to discuss the potential energy potential energy of the potential energy of the particle having the simple harmonic motion potential energy we'll see here potential energy so how to find out the potential energy here potential energy formula is what there for any general object it is the mgh but here uh, what is the energy we need to take this particle is oscillating there vibrating so uh, we have discussed in work for energy so energy is stored in the vibrating particle we have to take there okay so then if it is the oscillating there so whenever the particle is oscillating about to and from about the mean position then it will be have the two extreme positions there okay after reaching the extreme position there is a restoring force will back there so restoring force always it is restoring force always it is directly proportional to the displacement opposite to the displacement so we can write here f is equals to minus k into x we can add there f is nothing but what can we write here m into a we can add there m into a is equals to minus k into x so now from this a is equal to what can we add there minus k by m into x we can add there so if you compare uh, this acceleration equation and the, this is a displacement here okay and here we'll write there uh, y only because we have taken y no vertical uh, projection okay vertical projection we'll take here y only now compare with the acceleration equation acceleration acceleration of a simple harmonic motion okay we'll get here uh, that is a is equals to minus omega square into y we got now so by using this if we compare these two equations we'll be get here omega square is equals to k by m we'll get there so from this omega is equals to square root of for k by m will get there k by m okay so any particle is vibrating then energy will be stored in it uh, is uh, it in it should be taken in terms of uh, okay in terms of uh, in terms of this restoring force it should be there there in terms of uh, force constant okay so energy stored in the simple harmonic uh, simple harmonic motion okay energy stored in the particle having the simple harmonic motion that can be taken as here half into k x square we can add there here k y square i will take there because we are taking here vertical projection of the particle there okay so k y square we can add here okay so now a displacement so if you write here y is nothing but what the displacement equation now the potential energy of the a particle uh, having the simple harmonic motion you can write here half into half into k into this one we can write here uh, sin square sin square omega t plus uh, pi we can write there sin square omega t plus pi sin square omega t plus pi we can write okay so that is the equation so if you write here uh, this one okay so that half into this one oh, here uh, a a square will come there here so y is equals to a sin omega t plus uh, pi na then here we can add there a square sin square omega t we can add 
okay now here the potential energy potential energy is equals to half into k into k into so here uh, a square a square uh, sin square omega t sin square omega t plus pi we can write there sin square omega t plus pi so from this uh, if you write here uh, uh, sin square omega t so again we will get here half into k y square will get there half into k y square now the potential energy formula is we will be get this is the potential energy formula okay so at the extreme at the extreme position uh, what is the potential energy we will get here the equation of the potential energy is this one no y is y square okay at the extreme position and at the mean position uh, at the mean position y will be zero if y is zero there the potential energy will be zero there at the mean position potential energy of a, a particle in the shm will be zero at the extreme position so that is half into k into x square now from this equation here we have this equation of k is equals to omega square is equal to k by m so from that k is equals to what can we write here so m into omega square we can write there m into omega square if you write here that equation so potential energy is equals to half into m into omega square uh, we we'll write here a square uh, sin square omega t plus pi we can write a square sin square omega t plus pi so this is a potential energy equation or if you write here so in this equation the potential energy equation we can write here potential energy is equals to half into so k value what we have written here m into omega square here we can write there y square so this is the equation of the potential energy of a particle in simple harmonic motion simple harmonic motion okay so now this is at uh, this is at extreme position at, at extreme position uh, y is equal to a na? if y is equal to a means that is the extreme position then the potential energy is equals to we will get here half into m into omega square here we will get a square we will get here a square this is a final equation at and at extreme position this is at extreme position at extreme position and at mean position potential energy at mean position potential energy at mean position we can write here that is zero why it is zero because y is equals to zero y is equal to zero that means the potential energy will be at the mean position there there is no displacement no y is equal to zero there is a mean position there so it will be zero means so potential energy will be zero at mean position and uh, maximum at extreme position there okay so by using this we can uh, plot the graph uh, between the potential energy and the time time period and uh, we can plot the graph kinetic energy and the uh, time period okay so first we'll see there uh, kinetic energy graph of so graph of kinetic energy of a particle graph of kinetic energy of a particle there graph of kinetic energy of a simple harmonic of a SHM of a particle in SHM okay so we can write here the graph like this so 0 will be the extreme position uh, sorry 0 will be the mean position we can write so here one extreme position and here other extreme position we can write there so on the y axis we will take the kinetic energy and this is a time period or we can say it is the displacement or we can say displacement also okay at the at the, the extreme position it is at the extreme position this is a negative uh, extreme position it is a positive extreme position then uh, the, it will be zero the kinetic energy will be zero and if it is reaches to the extreme position the kinetic energy will become maximum and it will become to zero this is the graph of kinetic energy so here it is, it is the maximum kinetic energy ke maximum at mean position k value we got there maximum there at the, at the extreme positions k value will be zero because the velocity will be zero so kinetic energy will be zero so now the graph graph of graph of potential energy potential energy of a particle in shm of a particle 
पार्टिकल इन एस एच एम एस एच एम सो नाउ हियर वी लाइट देयर सो नाउ हियर एक्सट्रीम पोजिशन एंड नेगेटिव एक्सट्रीम पोजिशन एंड पॉजिटिव एक्सट्रीम पोजिशन ऑन द एक्स एक्सिस विल टेक ऑन वाई एक्सिस विल टेक द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी विल टेक हियर सो एट द एक्सट्रीम पोजिशन सो द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी विल बी मैक्सिमम एंड एट मीन पोजिशन द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी विल बी जीरो इट रीचेस टू जीरो हियर एंड अगेन एट द एक्सट्रीम पोजिशन इट विल बी रीचेस टू द मैक्सिमम सो दिस इज अ पी मैक्सिमम एट द एक्सट्रीम पोजिशंस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी विल बी मैक्सिमम हियर आल्सो पोटेंशियल एनर्जी विल बी मैक्सिमम द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी विल बी मैक्सिमम एट एक्सट्रीम पोजिशन एंड एट द मीन पोजिशन द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी विल बी जीरो वेयर आइज द काइनेटिक एनर्जी एट द मीन पोजिशन maximum kinetic energy at the extreme position so zero kinetic energy these two are the graphs of this kinetic energy of a particle in the shm okay so it is explained uh, this about the kinetic energy and the total energy is nothing but total energy is nothing but uh, potential energy and uh, kinetic energy okay total energy equation of total energy what can you write that also we'll see here total energy total energy total energy is nothing but sum of the potential energy plus and kinetic energy sum of the potential energy and kinetic energy so total energy equation or we can say this total energy is also equal to mechanical energy so that is equals to what is the potential energy we got here half into half into m into so omega square we got here a square okay and this one plus uh, what is the kinetic energy we got here expression of kinetic energy so expression of kinetic energy this one half into m into a square omega square okay half into m into a square omega square here the kinetic energy also we got this only half into m into a square omega square we got there okay so then the potential total energy equation total energy equation is so total energy equation what can write there here total energy t is equals to so half into m the both equations we got this one no? potential energy potential energy is half into m into omega square a square okay and the kinetic energy also half into m into omega square a square okay both the equations we got there now sum of those two will get here so m into omega square a square half into m into omega square a square will get there so there is a potential energy and kinetic energy potential energy and kinetic energy so this it can be written as here half into m omega square a square will be the total expression of the total energy of the simple harmonic motion okay so these are all the simple uh, the, all the synopsis we have completed so now we are going to see their uh, numerical problems exercise problems we will see, we'll see here now okay so first uh, from the synopsis one we have we'll see now from synopsis one we'll start page number synopsis one we'll see here page number 1 concept based questions are there so we'll see in the next class okay so up to here it is a concept we have discussed in three concepts three synopsis so numerical problems we'll see in the next class okay thank you children have a nice day